Yeah. There are two types of being annoyed when you lead the horse or ride him or train him. Not every kind of being annoyed or annoyed horse is not always a bad thing because when the horse is being annoyed with the things you are doing with him or on him when you are riding him, it can mean two things. The first thing is a bad thing and disadvantage, which means you're not controlling the horse in the right way, so you're dealing with the horse in the wrong way. You're the whipping in the wrong way, using the stress in the wrong way, lunging the horse in the wrong way, uh, overtraining the horse, or he's not ready for what you're doing, you're doing things with the reins and so on. So you are using a lot of bad things that will annoy, uh, annoy the horse, and because he's annoyed from the things you are doing, he will fight you back and he will succeed in doing what he wants, so you're not controlling him. That's the first main way of being annoyed from the rider when he's leading him, leading the horse or running the horse. The second uh, kind of being annoyed, in my opinion, is an advantage. A good thing, not a bad thing. Why is it an advantage, in my opinion? Because when the horse is trying to buck, as a green horse, you're trying to start a break. He wants to bolt. He wants to rave. He wants to do some stuff that you don't want him to do. Leading him outside the stable, a little place, next to the highway, next to cars, at night. He's afraid, he's too. As a horse, he thinks in a different way than you think as a man. He wants to do a lot of things that you don't want him to do because they are dangerous for him and for you. So, you want to control the horse in a situation that he wants to be out of control in it. When you are able to control him, of course he will be annoyed. But why is it a good sign or a good, a good kind of being annoyed? Because you did it in the right way. You were able to control him. So he wasn't annoyed by the bad things you did. He's annoyed by the control you were able to achieve. The control you were able to achieve cannot be achieved by using strength. If the horse wants to butt or fault or do something wrong and you deal with him in the wrong way by using strength, you will end up losing control instead of controlling him. Which means you cannot say that the horse is annoyed because I'm using a wrong way of riding or a method of riding. If the horse is annoyed by me and I'm doing something uh, in the wrong way, why isn't he butting? Why isn't he succeeding in bucking? Why isn't he uh, successful in bolting? Why isn't he successful in biting me and attacking me and so on and so on and hitting me with the hind legs and so on? So if what I'm doing is wrong, I shouldn't be able to control the horse. I should be, uh, let's say, uh, out of the horse should be controlled, uh, completely out of control and you will not be able to control it. Now, uh, if I control the horse, why is he being annoyed by that? Because he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do. It doesn't mean that what I'm doing is wrong, but it means the horse wanted to do something, he wasn't able to do it, so mentally he can express himself by playing with the head, or moving the ears, or uh, kicking the uh, uh, saddle girth or saddle belt, uh, dancing in his place. So he does some moves mentally and physically to express himself. It doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong. Always uh, remember that if what you're doing is wrong, the horse will show you that you are wrong. Show you by doing what? By doing the complete opposite of what you want. Do not believe that the horse can move back easily with you, stop or hold easily with you, give you the direction you want easily while you are doing something wrong. If you are doing something wrong, the horse will not give you what you want, especially when you disagree with him, when he spooks, when he's around other horses and studying and so on. It's impossible to control the horse in a disagreement situation when he disagrees with you. If your way of riding is not correct, do not believe that you can control horses in real situations by using strength. Do not believe you can control the horse in a real situation in a wrong way of riding. Anyone who tells you that, ask them to show it to you. Show me someone who's strong and using the strength and the power of the tools to control the horse when he really spooks. When he's in horse in another place. Or when he's next to the stallions and mares and so on. He will be out of control totally and even if you use strength more than you should in a very, let's say, crazy way, he will end up falling on you. He will just straight up and throw himself on you. So it will never work. So being annoyed by what you do is two times. The first one is the normal one, which is because of your bad way of riding and the horse will show you that by being totally out of your control. The second one is an advantage, a good thing in my opinion, which is the horse is not able to do what he wants, so he will express himself mentally and physically for a couple of seconds, then he will give you what you want. It's the closest thing to a child going to the school in the first couple of days, he will be afraid, he will be scared, he will be, let's say, annoyed,
but uh, with time he is supposed to get used to it if it's a, a good school and the teachers are dealing with him in the right way he will feel them in the beginning he, because he's respecting them but with time he will start to love it if he keeps feeling it and uh, keeps being annoyed by it and keeps hating it there's something wrong but if he doesn't hate it at all from the first day there is something wrong also that means he's doing what he wants he's not going to uh, the school to learn he's just going to school to have fun Usually the school is not just for having fun, it's for education. So he should respect you to a point that he will be annoyed by what you do uh, in some cases, but it will go away when he understands that uh, as soon as he gives me the release, I will give him the release, pressure and release and so on. So I don't want the horse to be completely, uh, let's say, uh, confident to a point that he's not annoyed at all in normal situations. And as soon as he wants to buck or bolt or whatever, and I deal with him in the wrong way, he ends up doing what he wants, then he will be annoyed by the strength I'm using. That's wrong. But I want the horse to be able to be annoyed sometimes because I can told him when he didn't expect that. This is true horsemanship. If you expect the horse to be completely normal and act in a very normal way in all situations, then you should deal with a cat or a dog, not a horse. And even dogs and cats have their moments of, uh, in being annoyed by, uh, from the person who's dealing with them. All animals and all people will have these moments. The difference is if the moment came from using strength, it will end up being a bad type of being annoyed. If the uh, idea came because you controlled the horse, or control the animal in this case, uh, it's going to be a good thing with time because it will lead to more control, more trust, not the opposite.